Hello, hello, hello! What are we doing today, guys? Take apart this map pack bracer break. I already took apart, took off one of them. Uh, Alright, so, um, just finished editing the entire video and I, <laughs> I noticed that the, well, most of the video is in a very soft focus, so I'm sorry about that, but stick with it. Um, it's my second video and, you know, it can only, can only get better than this. Um, I also noticed that the ending is very abrupt, so I'm sorry about that, but, um, but yeah, enjoy the video and uh, let's get back to it. So the plan is to take this one apart, clean it completely, take any rust off, put it back together with some new grease and some new brake pads, which I have as well. And now the building process begins. So let's get to it. All right, so here we go. We got our, what seems to be our front brake on our um, bolt here. Um, so for this, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a 10 mil socket and a 12 mil socket. Um, if you don't have sockets, just a 10 mil wrench and a 12 mil wrench. Let's take this apart. We're gonna start by just taking this bolt out here. Now, we gotta remember how to put this back together. We got the bolt, we got this uh, washer, and the plate that goes against the frame. Let's give the brake a little squeeze. This should be able to slide out. No problem there. And now we have the brake. All right, so we got the, uh, the bolt, the frame off. I'm gonna use my 10 mil socket just to loosen this, these here. This is where the cable goes, no problem. It's easy. What else do we have? This part here. So here I do need the wrench. Make sure we got on the loosened position. Hopefully it's uh, not too hard to figure out. Okay, we got that all the way. So, as in here, I put that there on the side. These are all, uh, those are all of those right there. So we'll take this one up right here. Also quite stiff. So you got these two here. Huh. Um, this is going to be our uh, brake pad holders. Now, before I continue, I want to grab a towel. Here we go. I don't want anything uh, to go flying with the springs. A little squeeze. Um, we should be able to move it now. They're loose. Uh, look at that. This is pretty worn out. Put that there. Same with this side. Right there. We'll take that off later. Um, and really just keep an eye on this. Here we go. So that was simple. Washer is out. That means this piece here will come out no problem. Just remember this goes over here. Do the same with the other side. Probably have some pliers. We're putting it back together. Take that apart. Now we have this done. I mean, that's about it really. They're pretty basic. Um, I'm gonna use a 12 mil for the one on the front. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's super shallow, so. Gotta make sure we catch it. We wanna round out the, the bolt. So we'll just unscrew this, get this out. Um, I should be able to get them in pretty good condition. Dirty on the outside, they look pretty clean. One way or another. Okay, well, we're gonna be careful with these uh, plastic holders here. Um, you can take this off. I know you can. I, I did it with the others, and it was no issue. Um, this has its funny way because it's not really it's not really held in in any particular way. It's just kind of in this little hole. Um, maybe if we can wiggle it past this little plastic ring. There we go. So we got the spring out. I don't know if we can take this off. I might just keep that there. Take the same thing on the other side. And then we 
go. Tiny little hole and just kind of weevil it past that. Simple. So that's it. So we can probably push this out with a flathead um, screwdriver. Oh, with your hands. So you can and we can just ripple that out. Just like that. Make sure so we can get this fully clean and process this one's a little bit harder in. Let's see if we can use one of these. Too. Alright, so I'll play with that with a flathead. So now it's uh, into the de-ruster. Uh, give it a clean and then um, we'll put it back together. Alright, so there we go. Put them in a degreaser, took off the rust, and um, um, if not better, maybe. <laughs> um, Alright, so what I did go ahead and do the note on video is put the new brake pads on here. Um, these are the new ones. The old ones I have in a separate bag right here. I probably see that they're the same ones, but man, these old ones are really used up compared to the new ones. So these were easy to find, no issue finding them. Good ones, um, found them on Rene Hertz. So if you're interested in these, this is where I got them, Rene Hertz Cycles. They're, I think they're based out of Washington. I'm happy with them, they're, they, they look good. They're the cool stop, I think, right? So yeah, if you're in the US and you wanna get some replacements here, not sponsored or anything. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, put them back together. I just use the basic part tool grease. Make sure you uh, grease everything, all the threadings and, and all. You don't want anything to seize up and anything to get stuck. So let's take a look at this. So we have these, this here, the original back piece. We got the spring, give it a clean. I like to put a little bit of grease on the springs again. Just a tiny bit, doesn't even need to be very much. Uh, then we go ahead and just slot it in. There's a little hole here and you're just gonna push it through um, and that's it. So in the hole right there, right there. Um, do the same thing with the other side. The hardest part is uh, getting it past this little red flange. So they're both on just like that. Now we grab the piece that goes on the inside. Uh, this one already has the red on it. So go right through there. Just slide it in. There we go. Um, this one doesn't have the red washer. I have it here on the side, so just slide it in place. That's all. And these didn't really clean up very well. Uh, that's okay. There's a, a nut that goes over them. And there we go. We got them both in. Um, that's pretty much the the easy part. Really, it's not that difficult of a break set to uh, take apart, give it a good clean. And now, pad side goes out. These can be adjusted afterwards, so I'm not too concerned about that. I just want to put it back together um, and have it all set up and ready for when I, I get the bike going. Everything just hand tight for now. And it's a little bit tricky, just gonna hold it all in place. This is the 10 mil. Now, the tricky part here is getting these springs to go behind. So this spring goes behind right here. Pliers maybe help with a finger to get it, and the pliers could just come up finish it off just like that and probably 75% of the way and then last 25% just use the pliers and we're done just like that so just needs to be cleaned a little bit nice and polished last night I yeah, went ahead and completed the other one so we have both of our brakes right there fully done if you enjoyed this video don't forget, subscribe, and you'll get to see the entire process of the bicycle. And uh, if you have any suggestions, feel free to, to comment them down below, and um, I'll get to them as soon as possible.